Here's an example of an actuator that's the simplest of designs. Here we have a screw attached with a small piece of insulated wire covering to the hobby motor and a simple 9 volt battery and all I do is change the polarity on the battery and this nut that's attached to the screw by uh, a little bit of glue onto this foam allows it to travel back and forth. There's no delimitation on this but you can see by the action that it allows you to actuate an arm fairly successfully to demonstrate something like a leg motion or radius on the operation. This design is a bit more complicated because it offers delimiting switches. So if we travel in one direction, it will delimit the flow. If we travel in the other direction, it will delimit the travel by cutting the circuit. These are made again out of foam, this time on cardboard. Again, the long screw that activates the nut and foam. Uh, the foam touches on a couple of pieces of pie plate that are bent in a special way to allow the cutoff of the electrical flow. Uh, the rest of the circuit is a homemade DPDT switch which calls the travel and uh, that's simply just pie plate on top of foam with a little bit of duct tape and wrapped around the end of the pie plate is regular telephone wire. So this whole uh, operation can be done by a student and costs less than a couple of dollars for each application. This third application of an actuator is really a little more complicated uh, only because it uses standard equipment. So for example in this case we have a knife switch DPDT that is a standard form and the screw thread is this time a longer screw thread of the uh, actual drill rod and here is a, a gear motor which uh, reduces the amount, gives this a lot more power in order to uh, actually move an arm or move some sort of an actuator. We have micro switch cutoffs here that are in the circuit to uh, delimit the flow and these are adjustable. I've used pegboard here so that you can adjust the travel. So the DPDT switch traveling in the other direction then allows the distance of travel. This can be adjusted in terms of distance of travel. Of course, the length of the screw can be adjusted, and the arms and whatever you actuate can be adjusted based upon how you want to move things and where you want to move things. The cost of this apparatus is a little more uh, pricey in that uh, a gear motor will cost about $7. Uh, switches are about a dollar a piece, including a um, switch like this is probably another dollar. And uh, so this is. For under $10, you could probably do this in a classroom.